Japan's Atomic Energy Commission has proposed three ways to dispose of the spent nuclear fuel from the country's nuclear plants. The commission has been reviewing Japan's nuclear energy policy since last year's accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. A working group revealed the three options on Wednesday. The first proposal calls for a continuation of an ongoing recycling project that involves reprocessing plutonium from spent nuclear fuel into uranium-plutonium mixed oxide fuel. The fuel could then be used in a fast breeder nuclear reactor once the reactor enters practical use. The second proposal calls for abandoning all fast breeder reactor research and fuel recycling and burying the spent fuel deeply underground. The third calls for storing the fuel for the time being and deciding within 20 years whether to use it in fast breeder reactors or bury it. The Commission plans to select one of the measures by the middle of this year. It's <laughs> so funny now. I sometimes just think funny things. The operator of the disabled Fukushima nuclear power plant will begin monitoring radioactive contamination off the coast of the no-entry zone by collecting samples of marine life. Tokyo Electric Power Company made the decision in response to requests by fishing cooperatives and researchers who have been calling for full-fledged studies into the impact of radioactive contamination on marine life in the area. Fishing is banned within a 20-kilometer radius of the plant. TEPCO says it will collect fish and seashell samples from 20 locations within the zone. It will study what kind of radioactive materials the catch contains and the density of radioactivity. Similar studies have already been conducted beyond the 20-kilometer radius, but this is the first time that a survey is being carried out within the zone. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. Well, one of the scariest things about radioactivity is that you can't see it. Well, but Japanese researchers have now created a digital camera that can record radiation in the environment. Tokyo Electric Power Company, the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, commissioned the super wide angle camera. The camera was developed by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA. It uses gamma ray technology originally designed for space probes. A gamma ray detector inside the camera shows levels of radiation on buildings and the landscape in six colors according to intensity. The prototype camera can shoot at an angle of nearly 180 degrees. That's three times wider than existing models. Sample images taken in February show a wide area of radioactive cesium contamination on the ground and wall of a supermarket in Itata Village within the evacuation zone. Hold it! Professor Tadayuki Takahashi of the Space Agency says his team is working to make the camera lighter so it can help in environmental decon uh, decontamination operations. Tokyo Electric Power Company has asked the government for additional public fund injections, that is to boost its capital and help compensate the victims of the accident at its Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. <laughs> TEPCO is going through extremely severe business conditions, and it's getting worse every day. TEPCO applied for about $12 billion to a government-backed fund on Thursday to boost its capital. It also asked for around $10 billion to bolster its reserves through compensation. The capital infusion is part of a business revitalization plan TEPCO is putting forward, but it is still pending whether the request will be approved, as the government is asking for a controlling stake in the utility in exchange for the capital injection. But the firm's management wants to maintain its independence as a private entity. First your ass is backed up, now the toilet's backed up, and if you're not going to have the right attitude about it, fuck it, I'll just shit on you. A Swiss insurance company has estimated that natural disasters last year created a record $370 billion in global economic losses. 
Swiss Re said in a report issued on Wednesday that the March 11th earthquake and tsunami in northeastern Japan accounted for $210 billion, or roughly 57% of the total. Flooding in Thailand caused losses of $30 billion, while a quake on the South Island of New Zealand cost some $15 billion. The insurance firm said global losses for 2011 exceeded those of 2008, which totaled $281 billion. A significant part of those costs came from a massive earthquake in China's Sichuan province. The insurance bill will, from Japan's disaster is currently estimated at $35 billion, the largest for any earthquake to date. Japan's Atomic Energy Commission has proposed three ways to dispose of the spent nuclear fuel from the country's nuclear plants. The commission has been reviewing Japan's nuclear energy policy since last year's accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. A working group revealed the three options on Wednesday. The first proposal calls for a continuation of an ongoing recycling project that involves reprocessing plutonium from spent nuclear fuel into uranium-plutonium mixed oxide fuel. The fuel could then be used in a fast breeder nuclear reactor once the reactor enters practical use. The second proposal calls for abandoning all fast breeder reactor research and fuel recycling and burying the spent fuel deeply underground. The third calls for storing the fuel for the time being and deciding within 20 years whether to use it in fast breeder reactors or bury it. The Commission plans to select one of the measures by the middle of this year. 